I'm here with Sean Gunn. Thanks for being here. Hello. Thanks for having me. So let's start with Gilmore Girls. Just let's go to your character. Okay. How did you craft that? Was that based on someone? What, where did you get the idea of kind of playing this quirky, uh, eccentric individual? Well, I don't know. I mean, I, I ended up on the show. I had done uh, my first episode was just supposed to be a one episode thing as the DSL installer. Um, he was just sort of a deadpan character. And, uh, and then he evolved a little bit. He came, became a little bit quirkier, a little bit more spastic, I think, than we saw him originally, but still sort of deadpan character. And I don't know, it's just an amalgamation of, um, of different influences that I've had as an, as an actor, coupled with Amy's writing, which I felt, I don't know, it, it, it brought something specific out of me. Um, so I don't really know where the character starts and ends, but uh, it's some sort of collaboration here? between actor and writer, I think. That re like her references, her, her quick patter, the way she writes really adds something to all the characters in that show. It's so influential, right? Yeah, absolutely. I, uh, I think that that's what, that's what marks the show, Gilmore Girls, more than anything else, is sort of how taut and textured uh, the writing is. Yeah. Exciting that it's back now. Um, well, it's, it, it came back for a, for, for a, a reboot, but yeah. uh, it's not back now. Now, no. it's, now it's over but, again. But it's exciting that that was... <laughs> yeah, I agree. Yeah. I agree. Uh, yeah. So let's go to Guardians of the Galaxy. Okay. Uh, you got the kind of this interesting role. You're part of this group of henchmen uh, yeah. led by Michael Rooker's character, yes. who I also interviewed, who was actually quite funny. Uh -huh. But uh, So take, take us inside that. Your brother obviously directs it. Yes, and right, writes and directs. And yeah. I, um, I, I play two roles in Guardians, actually. I play... Craglin, who is um, my on-screen character, he's the, the right-hand man of, of Yondu. Um, uh, and in the second movie, Craglin has a bit of an expanded role because the, uh, the Ravagers are starting to grumble about how Yondu hasn't gone after Peter Quill. Mm -hmm. um, and they're starting to worry about where his loyalty lies, and they're talking about mutiny. And so Craglin has to decide what side of the fence he's on and where his loyalty lies. Um, which gives uh, gives me a lot more cool stuff to do. Um, I also play Rocket on set, so I do the motion reference acting for Rocket, which is a, a quite a large job. I'm, I'm a, a member of that team, um, and uh, yeah, it's, I'm really excited for the uh, for the second movie to come out. I just went to the premiere on Wednesday. It's awesome. Nice. So kind of the the uh, you're a little bit like the Andy Circus of the uh, of the Guardians of the Galaxy world. Something like that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect, and, and to, to finish off, my favorite question, one of your favorite films, and why? Um, one of my favorite films, or, or, or my very yeah, favorite film? Favorite okay. Film. Um, I, I like to make it easier on people. Right? Yeah, no, <laughs> you know, my, I, my, my very favorite film is a, is a rather obscure Robert Altman movie from the early 70s called California Split okay. with Elliot Gould and George Siegel. Mm -hmm. And um, the why is because... Um, I, I love how the movie is really about something uh, with, without having to have it be hung on a plot. The, 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 the plot is very sort of loose. There is a, there is a plot, but it's, it's very sort of loose. And through these, you know, you just got to see it. It's, there's, there's something about the way that the, mo the film moves um, that ends up in a very, very subtle way saying something totally profound. Um, and uh, I just, I love it. I love the performances. Eli, you know, Elliot Gould in the, in the, in the early, mid-70s is like just about my biggest idol oh my God, as an actor. I love in Long Goodbye, California Split, Bob Carroll and Ted and Alice. I just think he's magnificent in those movies. Well, I uh, actually interviewed Sally Kellerman, who was nominated for an Oscar for Hot Lips for MASH. And she had nothing but great things to say about Robert Altman. Said he was just the most amazing man. And what a talented, talented director. Yeah. So uh, I can approve of your choice. Anyway, thank you so much for this. Thank you. All right, nice talking to you. Nice.